to choose the right brush so that the egg doesn't crack. Oh, again. See, this brush is too hard, but this one is nice and soft. Well done, Caillou. Do you like painting eggs, Mommy? I do, Caillou. But you know what I like even more? Hunting for eggs. Hunting for eggs? In the store? <laughs> no, no. In the garden. Why would you search the garden for eggs? We don't have a chicken. <gasps> do we? <laughs> no. But the eggs I'm talking about don't come from birds. They're sweeter than other eggs and very tasty. <gasps> These eggs are made of chocolate. And even better, they're delivered by the Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny? Yes, he's going to hop around the garden and hide Easter eggs for you to find. <laughs> the Easter Bunny is going to hide chocolate eggs in our garden? <laughs> yes, Caillou. So, time for bed. You'll need lots of sleep so you're ready for the egg hunt tomorrow. But how does the Easter Bunny get here? <laughs> Where does it keep all the egg? Don't its paws get sore from carrying all the eggs? I think it's time to sleep now, Caillou. Close your eyes, and when you wake up, you can go hunting for eggs. The Easter Bunny won't come while you're awake. Look won't hurt. <gasps> the Easter Bunny. Gilbert, we've got an Easter bunny to find. behind the plant pot. Aha! Hmm. We're going on an Easter egg hunt and an Easter bunny hunt. <laughs> Too quick and a very good hider. We have him cornered now. <gasps> Caillou, what are you doing outside at this time of night? Caillou, you should be in bed. It's very late, and you shouldn't be outside alone. Bye, 
Bye-bye, Easter Bunny. See you again next year. <laughs> okay, settle down, kids. Today, we're going to learn about Vikings. Does anybody know who the Vikings were? wore pointy hats and fur and sailed in boats, I think. Well, yes, they did, Caillou. Very good. <laughs> and today, Caillou, we're going to make our very own Viking helmets that you can take home with you. Yeah! <laughs> the Vikings lived hundreds of years ago. They lived in what we now call Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. They traded and traveled all over the world, sailing in longboats they built with their bare hands. Now, they also wore armor and helmets like this one. <laughs> Today, class, I'd like you to make your own Viking helmet. The materials are on the table. You can decorate them however you like, but remember, they need to make you look strong and tough. Great job, Caillou. That's a really scary one. That's recess, kids. <laughs> uh, I'm bored. What should we play? Let's play Vikings! Oh. <laughs> in peace. We need shelter against the storm. Please, please, please! please. please. 
Okay, Caillou. Let's take that turn to the left and head back home. Got it. Hey, Daddy, racing home. Be careful, Caillou. It's a bit bumpy over there. What? <gasps> Caillou, I'm Dr. Nguyen. We're just gonna take a quick x-ray of your arm, okay? Uh. Well, Caillou, I'm afraid your arm is broken, so I'll need to be in a cast for six weeks. Now, I'm just wrapping some padding around your arm before we put on the plaster so it won't hurt. Now you need to hold very still until this is dry, okay, Caillou? Otherwise it won't work. Uh, it's so heavy. It feels weird. <laughs> It'll feel a bit strange for a day or two, but I'm afraid it's the only way to make sure your arm gets better. Today we're going to have a pop quiz. Aww. Now, you know how hard we've been working on our numbers? Well, this is just a little test to see how much you've learned or to see where you might need some extra help. It's nothing to worry about. 
Now, I'll read out the questions, and you just need to write the answers on your sheets. You can turn over your papers now. Question 1. How many apples do you see on the page? Next, how many apples do I have if I add two more? If you're having trouble, draw the extra apples. Question 3. If I take five apples away, how many are left? <gasps> Next up are some questions about shapes. Now, how many sides does a square have? Oh no, not shapes! Can you draw a triangle? Uh. Caillou, were you looking at Leo's paper? Uh. No, Mrs. Martin, I, I promise I... I'll see you after class, Caillou. Great work, class. Now go on out for recess. Please hand your papers in to me on your way out. <laughs> Not you, Caillou. Take a seat, please. Now, Caillou, do you understand why you failed the test? It's because you cheated, Caillou, and cheating is wrong, isn't it? I didn't cheat, Mrs. Martin. Then why were you looking over at Leo's paper? I... I didn't mean to. I was... <sighs> now, Caillou, it's okay to admit you made a mistake. We all make them sometimes. The important thing is to own up and do better in the future. Uh, uh, I'm not good at shapes, and I was worried I'd get the wrong answers, so uh, I cheated. I'm sorry. Thank you for telling the truth, Caillou. You should never cheat, but you should always ask for help if you need it. If you're finding shapes hard, then I can give you some extra help in class, okay? Hmm. How does that sound? Yeah, I like that. Thanks, Mrs. Martin. Good. Well, some of recess is left. Why don't you go out and play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Caillou? Maybe oh. we can go through the test together later. Without cheating. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Martin. That's a great snail, Andy. But aren't snails kind of scary? Snails aren't scary. My favorites. Oh, but they're so slimy and... <gasps> what is that? Okay, class. 
This is a fire alarm, so we all have to leave the classroom. Please find your buddies. Follow Miss Shelley outside and line up in the playground. Come on, Andy. You're my buddy, remember? <gasps> Andy? <laughs> Nice and steady now. Oh, Mrs. Martin, I think it's too loud for Andy. He needs his headphones. Good idea, Caillou. They're just over there by his backpack. Thank you, Caillou. Now come along. We need to go to the playground. Great job, everyone. This was just a practice, but you were all very calm and did what you were told. So well done. And now, it's recess time. Have fun. <laughs> It's a recess now. Do you want to play catch? I have your special ball. Everything okay, Caillou? Me and Andy were having a lot of fun drawing, but he doesn't want to play with me anymore. Hmm. Well, you know, Andy really doesn't like loud noises. So that fire alarm was extra scary for him. Yeah, I get scared too sometimes when it's dark. It isn't nice. Exactly. Just give him some time and he'll be back to his usual self, I'm sure. Ah! <gasps> get it away! Clementine, are you okay? It's a snail! Ew! Snails are slimy and scary. Don't worry, Clementine. It's perfectly harmless. We'll move it out of the way for you now. Snail! Cool! That's right! Snails are Andy's favorite! Can you help us get the snail away from Clementine? Snails don't go on slides. Oh. Time to go home, snail. Wow, that was amazing, Andy. Yeah, you saved me. Yes, well done, Andy. That was quick thinking. See, Caillou? The alarm may have been scary and painful for Andy because of his autism, but the snail wasn't. Everyone has things they find hard to cope with, but that's okay, because we all help each other when we struggle. Yeah! Got you! Catch! <laughs> Here it comes! Hey, have you guys played Dig and Build 2 yet? Not yet. There's a new one? What is it? Yeah, in this one, you dig up dinosaur bones. Then you have to put the bones together to make a dinosaur skeleton. It's awesome. My mommy's taking me to get it this afternoon with my allowance. I can't wait. Mine too. Maybe we can go together. Caillou? Uh, I don't think I can. I don't have any money. Well, you better hurry, Caillou, or the store will run out. Mm -hmm. Mommy? Daddy? I need some money to buy a game. 
<laughs> well, Caillou, you know money doesn't grow on trees. You'll have to earn your extra money. What do you mean? Well, we'll give you an allowance to spend on whatever you like. <laughs> In exchange for you helping around the house doing some chores. That's called earning. Okay. What do I have to do? Let me think. Here goes! Okay, Caillou, let's see how much you've earned this week. <gasps> Is it enough? Is it? Yes, Caillou, well done. We're very proud of all the work you did. Yes! Dig and build! Let's go, let's go! Quick, Mommy! Or they'll all be gone! <laughs> all right! All right! Here! We got the last one! You'd better buy it quick then, Caillou. Not quite, Caillou. Mr. Hinkle gave you five dollars for five boxes of cookies. You've only given him three. <gasps> yeah, that's not right, Caillou. Oh, sorry. So you have three. Here's four and five. <laughs> Thank you very much, Caillou and Clementine. Thanks, Mr. Hinkle. Yeah! 
Have a nice day. Wow, we already sold 10 boxes of cookies today. I wonder if we can sell 20. Or 30. Or 50. Or 100. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, you two. There's nothing to be afraid of. These people are marching. Marching? Why? People march when they're unhappy about something big and they want to change it. They march with signs to let the people in charge know how they feel. Why are they shouting so loudly? Yeah. What are they upset about? Well, they want to get everyone's attention. This is a protest to stand up against racism. What's racism? Oh, Mommy told me. Racism is when people are mean to each other because of their skin color. Right, Mom? That's right, Clementine. See, there was a time when you two wouldn't have been able to play together just because of the colors of your skin. Really? Yes. People with darker skin like me and Clementine were not allowed to do the same things as people with lighter skin like you, Caillou. You two wouldn't have been able to swim together or ride the bus together or even eat at restaurants together. It's not fair. Lots of people agreed, Caillou. So they all marched together, just like this. And things changed and got better. So now you and Clementine can both play together and do all the same things. Oh. So marching is a good thing. It is, Clementine. Sometimes people are still mean to people with darker skin, like us. So all these people are trying to make things better. And when lots of different people all come together like this, they can change the whole world. Wow! Water! Free water! I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. What are you doing with all that water? Me and my parents are passing them out to thirsty people on the march. That's so nice. Hey, you two. Should we get back to selling cookies? Well, some of the people marching look kind of hungry. Could we give them some cookies? Oh, can we? Can we? I think that's a wonderful idea. We can spare a few boxes. Water! Water! Free water! Cookies! Cookies! Free cookies! Think are you? <laughs> Very good, Caillou. But how about we try it for real?
Whew. Say, how about we try that police car next? <laughs> you are under arrest, mister. Oh no, Grandpa! Where are you going to take me? We're going downtown. I've got some questions for you. <gasps> Actually, uh, I'm uh, much too tired to arrest anybody today. Hop out, Caillou. Grandpa! Grandpa! What's this one? That's a garbage truck, Caillou. <gasps> Ew! Grandpa, what's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> Come and take a look at this. Whoa! What happens to it after it's been crushed? Well, some of it goes to a big landfill, and the rest, like paper, plastic, and some metal, gets recycled. Which means it gets made into something completely new, hmm. so that it can be used again. <gasps> wow, Grandpa, look! A train! This must be for really big farms. Oh, well, let's hop in, Farmer Caillou. Well, I'd say we're going to have a good harvest this year, Farmer Caillou. Yep, lots of carrots and potatoes and, and, and candy. <laughs> Candy? Wow, this must be a very special farm indeed. <laughs> Say, we'd better get you home, Farmer Caillou. Why don't you take these with you? Wow! Thanks, Grandpa! I can't wait to show Mommy and Daddy! I'm going to swing through the trees just like a monkey! Monkey swing! <laughs> Let's get climbing. This thing around your tummies and legs is called a harness. It's what attaches you to the rope and the tree to stop you from falling. Psst, Billy, I'm gonna climb that big tree over there. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm gonna fly from that Really huge one. I'll fly faster than you. Will not. Caillou, Clementine, please pay attention. Hmm. So, what do you want to do first? Uh, why don't we start at that one? That one's for babies, Leo. I know, just for practice. 
Then we can be super quick on the bigger ones. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me, Billy. I'll do it even faster than Clementine. Be careful, Caillou. I'm right here. That's it. Just take it one step at a time. Oh. Hmm. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> that was great, Leo. Now let's go do the bigger ones. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. go first. Think I you? <laughs> Hello there. How many hot dogs do we need, Caillou? One, two, three, four. Four, please. No problem. Coming right up. Okay, any sauces for you? Hmm. Oh, oh, uh, can I do it, please? Sure, kid. Here you go. Mustard for me, please, Caillou. I'll have ketchup. <gasps> ketchup! Okay, mustard for mommy. Ketchup. 
ketchup for Rosie. <laughs> I want ketchup and mustard. Ketchup for Daddy! <laughs> well done, Caillou. You're doing a great <laughs> job. Thanks! Whoa! Oops! Careful, Caillou. Caillou, I suppose it does. <laughs> daddy, Daddy! What is it, Caillou? It's just like the one from the parade. Can I get it, please? <laughs> okay. Attention! <laughs> <laughs> 